the righteous will experience eternal life with God. Isn't that good news? Because look, let's just be honest, God could have left us in a state of separation from Him, but He loves us so much that He's made a way for us to know and love Him and follow Him. And if you are a believer, if you know Jesus, you are counted in this righteous group, and you'll experience eternal life with God. The text says things like son of righteousness. And this points to a sunrise. Man, who loves a good sunrise? I haven't been up that early in a while, but you know, I love a good sunrise when I get the chance. Watching the sun, watching the darkness fade away, watching the sun rise. It also says healing in its wings. I mean, healing, eternal healing, eternal shelter and protection from sin and pain and evil. All of that will be taken away. Leaping like calves from the stall. And this just basically means like calves being released from the stall into an open land of freedom to just run around wherever they want. This free sense of freedom. You're no longer bound. And then it says, tread down the wicked as ashes under the soles of your feet. God's people will be victorious over evil. And God wins in the end. That's really good news for us. Somebody really needs to hear that, including me, especially with this year. God wins in the end. It's already written. It's already done. And until that day comes, we are on mission for Him. There's a purpose for our life, living for Him. So these are the two options that we are to anticipate. So My question for you would be, will you enter into this eternal life with God? When I look at these two options, it's very clear. It's a hard truth to take in, but it's very clear that there's only two options. There's no middle ground. It's either righteous or wicked. And I'm reminded, like, time and time again, when I read things like this and take this in, that it is so worth it to be counted in that righteous number. Even when I want to quit and give up and I question, is this worth it? Yes, it's worth it, because in the end, God wins. So my question for you is, will you give your life to Jesus if you don't know him? This Christmas season, 